Today we're going to talk about a very popular software because it is heavily used by a huge number of 3D artists. Substance Painter 7.3 is back with new and better ways of texturing and painting meshes because it brought with it a bunch of new tools that are made to ensure better control and more flexibility. It has a new 3D wrap tool, a new cylinder projection mode, as well as improvements for color picker and performance. The main plus in this release is the new 3D wrap projection mode for fill layers and fill effects to give you the ability to wrap any material or image around any geometry in a non-destructive way. With it you can distort a texture or an image with the help of deformation grid and controllable points. This tool has some useful features like the quick setup via drag and drop functionality where you can drag your image resource from the asset library and drop it into your mesh. Once the layer is created, the new wrap projection is automatically created. It also has a wrap mode that helps you edit your scan in context. You can match the material to the model by moving vertices and it has control points that will automatically stick to the surface and you can manipulate them as you want with rotation, moving and scaling until you make the perfect match out of it. This makes it easier to map any texture or material quickly and accurately and you can even split the grid locally for fine adjustments in case you need more vertices to get into more details. Another useful tool in this update is the new cylindrical projection mode for fill layers and fill effects which is beneficial for cases like wrapping materials around cylindrical shapes. If you don't want your materials to be repeated over your cylindrical surface outside of the projection gizmo you won't have to go through all the processes of selecting UVs and cropping to make your image fit. All you have to do is to use the manipulator to adjust the projection to the desired position. Substance Painter 7.3 also introduced color picker improvements. It now allows you to save color swatches internally besides other updated functionalities. It also has a new window layout and more accessible eyedropper where it can be found directly next to the color field. Plus the color picker window will remain open while you are painting on the same layer so you can choose new colors quickly or swap between swatches without interrupting your painting process. This release also has some performance improvements concerning some maintenance and optimization for slider manipulation and painting as well as the new Python API and new functions, updating resources, and query UV tiles resolution via scripting, in addition to autosave plugin improvements and much more. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up, share with us your thoughts in the comments below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.